existing national youth policy in its current form is not fit for purpose. There is a need to align the existing policy with government development agenda, as well as other relevant national development protocols and frameworks such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, that are referred to as SDGs, and Agenda 2063 of the Africa Union, and has been retreated by our chairperson, what the UN calls, is it Agenda 2030? Youth 2030. Again, the data in the existing policy was based on the 2000 population and housing census by the Ghana Statistical Service. There is therefore the need to capture recent data using the 2010 population and housing census to reflect current trends locally and globally. So far, in the process of reviewing the policy, a preliminary stakeholders information session, sharing session was held in November of 2017. A national technical committee was inaugurated by the Minister for Youth and Sports. A concept paper for the review was developed. An evaluation of the existing policy has been carried out to identify gaps and generate a gap analysis report. The gap analysis report has been completed and widely circulated to inform and elicit input. Consultative meetings have been held with relevant stakeholders such as women groups, people with disability. Collision of inputs through regional consultative meetings have been conducted and today's event, being the national consultative meeting, will be the penultimate in the series of consultations for the review process. After today's meeting, a final coalition of inputs will be done for drafting of a reviewed national youth policy by the consultants and presented to the National Youth Authority for study and submission to the Minister for Youth and Sports. It is expected that all other things being equal, we would have a reviewed national youth policy and an implementation plan by the first quarter of next year. And here, I want to state that the current leadership at the Ministry of Youth and Sports is committed to making sure that we do not just sit here, jaw jaw, dialogue, and draft a policy that will be put on our shelves. We are committed to making sure that everything that is captured in our national youth policy will be implemented to help grow our youth of our country. So I give you that assurance. Since the inception of the review process, this hinged on the belief that no voice is too small and no opinion is irrelevant. What we expressively desire is what can work for the good of our youth and country. The goal is to be create a conducive policy environment so that the youth of Ghana can contribute their quota to attain the aspirations of His Excellency President Nana Dankwa Kufado's vision of a Ghana beyond age. 